still exist in us, or guess what? They do live in us. Lastly, we need to do what he did, at least as much as we can. And what do we see that Jesus did in our passage? He preached peace. He preached peace to those who were far away and preached peace to those who were near. That's what he did to bring people together and to, to reconcile them through his body on the cross. He preached peace. He taught peace. He lived peace. We need to preach peace. We need to teach peace. We need to live peace in all the conflicted and hostile areas that we find ourselves in, in situations we find ourselves in. We need to preach peace, teach peace, and live peace so that reconciliation might continue to happen. God has reconciled us to himself. We need to preach peace, teach peace, and live it so that we might continue to be reconciled to one another, especially to those who do not yet know Christ. This is what we do because of this amazing scripture that we have today. I would just close with this thought for you. If we go back to the image that I first gave you, that mash signpost, close your eyes and picture the mash signpost. At the end of the series, they had that big final movie. And, and if you watch that movie, you'll see throughout the movie there, there comes a point different characters take down the boards on the sign they take or they take down the boards on, on the post to take them with them because finally they were going home the nightmare was over they're going home they took those down not because of anything that they did but because peace came from on high they were finally going to be connected with all that they loved and desired and had been longing for. Here today, brothers and sisters, you and I, we are brought near. We are connected with what we most need and desire. If our eyes are open, if our hearts are open, we are connected with what we need most because of our great Prince of Peace, even Jesus Christ. He reconciles us to himself and to the Father and to the Holy Spirit. So completely it fills us. See it, give thanks, and go in peace. Amen. We move into our time of prayer, hopefully remembering how 